This is a story about cats which blow up and two unusual guys. What did you want to be when you grew up? A fire truck. I mean, our games were more like find a stick and hit someone with it. Together, they created a card game. All right, should we start? It's called Exploding Kittens. These are the ones you do not want. In one year of business, they've sold an estimated $50 million worth. I went to seven different colleges uh, because I'm a horrible student and I would constantly fail out of them. But Elon Lee was smart. I was the first person to photograph a sound wave. After finally graduating college, he worked in special effects on Jar Jar Binks. I feel like I spend most of my life apologizing for that. Then Microsoft hired him to help create the Xbox, but he started to notice that video games were very isolating. I have nieces and nephews that play Halo a lot. And when I go over to visit them and hang out with them, they're just staring at the TV. And um, it felt bad. And so I decided to make a card game. Oh, man! The game he helped create was originally called Bomb Squad. You pull a card with a bomb on it and you're killed off. He showed it to Matt Inman, the successful cartoonist behind the oatmeal. Oh, this is a really fun game, and it's got a terrible theme, it's got no soul, and I think I can make it funny. What if, instead of a bomb, everybody was stressing and worrying about a kitten? A kitten would kill you, a kitten would blow you up. The game then became Exploding Kittens. Unbelievable! They funded it with other people's money. What we decided to do uh, was put the game up on Kickstarter and just ask for $10,000. And in the course of 30 days, we raised almost $9 million. It's the most funded game in crowdfunding history. That was January 2015. They started shipping six months later. Since then, we've sold about two and a half million copies. Are you profitable? Very. <laughs> Tabletop gaming is big now. The other thing that I've noticed is if you take the internet and you add cats to it, it's like success. Uh, I've been playing a lot of this game, uh, Code Names. But as much as they love table games, Lee and Inman learned making a physical game is very different than a digital one. It was a typo we missed. Yeah, and then everybody points that out for the rest of your life. We forgot to put packing tape on all of those boxes. Every single one of them showed up empty. <laughs> Fun ideas like a box which meows when you open it proved costly. It cost us a million dollars to make that box meow. Still, Elon Lee's mantra is fail fast because he says failure is inevitable. Just get it over with. Exploding Kittens has shown no signs of imploding. An expansion pack broke the record for pre-orders on Amazon's Prime Day. However, they have gotten pushback from cat lovers, so they give money to animal charities and explain the game is actually pro-kitten. Even though you're scared of the kittens, it's more about saving them, really. We're really philanthropists when it comes down to it. Do you have a cat? No. Do you like cats? Uh, yes, I don't like cat people. Does that make sense? <laughs> hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.